Have you ever felt overwhelmed? Me too. Every day of my life for many years, until I understood a process of how to reduce the overwhelm and live my life the way that I wanted to, with joy, purpose, and passion. I will take you through my journey of overcoming the overwhelm as a professional music educator. And I believe that in my journey, you will be able to find some pearls of wisdom that you can use to reduce the overwhelm in your life too. An educator's life is like a multi-strand pearl necklace. Why? Because there are three strands in our lives. Professional, family, and personal. We often experience overwhelm in not just one, but all three strands that can become so tangled that it may be difficult to separate them. By separating one strand at a time, you are reducing the overwhelm. For me, it happened during three separate events. Yes, events and experiences in your life can help you untangle your strands. Let me take you to the event when I untangled the first strand of my professional overwhelm at the coffee shop. I was invited to attend a music teacher's meeting at a local coffee shop. The discussions on the business of teaching, finances and curriculum were intimidating. Overwhelming questions entered my mind, but I sat firmly on my hands afraid to raise them, in fear of asking a stupid question. The professional overwhelm of feeling inadequate. Imposter syndrome is very real, like you don't belong and you are not worthy. And I felt it deeply. There's always someone with more degrees, more experience, more knowledge, but that does not mean that you are not deserving or capable. I watched the body language of the other teachers as we talked over coffee. I could see that they were just as nervous and embarrassed about asking questions as I was. If no one was going to ask those questions, I would never get the answers. And neither would they. It was time to take a bold step outside my comfort zone and make a paradigm shift. I made a fundamental change. I bravely raised my hand to ask a question, and then another, and then another. I thought that these would be met with ridicule. I noticed that other teachers, previously silenced, leaned forward as if to say, I have the same questions. By asking questions, you can reduce your professional overwhelm. That's what teaching communities are meant for, to support each other. I had helped others by asking questions and collecting answers as a group. These would have been left unanswered if I didn't have the courage to raise my hand. I untangled the first strand of the pearl necklace by shifting my paradigm from comparison mode that made me feel weak to community mode that made me feel strong. May I invite you to untangle this strand with a paradigm shift to reduce the professional overwhelm in your life. I untangled the second strand of my family overwhelm standing in the doorway. This doorway divided my home from my music studio. Like many music teachers, my music studio was part of my home. There was a door that separated me, the teacher, from me, the mom. As I passed through the doorway, overwhelmed with family activities, I shouted to my daughter, clean your room, do your homework, brush your teeth. I have to go teach. I transformed into me, the teacher, from me the mom and I found that my tonality and my attitude changed 
completely. There was no shouting, get your books to the piano and sit down immediately. Instead, there were questions about their day and a transition into the music lesson. At the end of the day, as I opened the same door that I had shut before class began, my daughter was standing there in the doorway, waiting for me. Her big brown eyes looking up at me, she quietly said, Mom, when you come through this door, can you be the teacher on this side of the door too? That moment, I became the student. I understood what my daughter was hearing and what my daughter was feeling. From the day that I became a teacher, I pledged to be empathetic to my students, but empathy was needed beyond the music studio. I untangled the second strand in the pearl necklace by opening the empathy door of understanding and meaningful conversation with family. May I invite you to untangle this strand with empathy to hear what they hear and feel what they feel and reduce the family overwhelm in your life. I untangled the third strand of my personal overwhelm when I opened my jewelry box. I remember looking at my mother's pearl necklace laying in the jewelry box. Thinking of her, I wondered, what are my expectations as an educator, mother, and human being? And I was overwhelmed with a long list of desires and obligations. And I asked myself, how did my mom achieve everything that she did? I got the answer as if she was talking to me and saying, accept and reduce the overwhelm of expectations from yourself. Know that you can overcome it by simply living each day and each moment as it comes with grace. I felt the heaviness of responsibilities and expectations lift off my shoulders. That day, I decided to leave the jewelry box open to remind me that I need to live in the moment and not dwell on the baggage of overwhelm. Being able to take a step back, see the big picture, and then simply start with small steps, the little things, just as each little pearl creates the strands of your life. You can remain in the world of personal overwhelm or gracefully accept the gift of being who you are and live life in the moment. I untangled the third strand in the pearl necklace by accepting the overwhelm and knowing that I could overcome it. May I invite you to untangle this strand with grace and live in the moment by accepting yourself and overcoming the personal overwhelm in your life. Now, you know how I untangled my three strand pearl necklace and started living with less overwhelm in my professional, family, and personal life. I know this process can help you to untangle your pearl necklace strands too. Your strands could be different. Your events could be different. Your experiences could be different than mine. But the process of untangling the three strands will help you overcome the overwhelm. The world is your oyster. Each precious pearl of wisdom creates the strands of your life. When you visit a coffee shop, will you think about how you can untangle the strand of your professional overwhelm to shift your paradigm with confidence and certainty? When you stand in a doorway, will you think about how you can untangle the strands of your family overwhelm to open meaningful conversations with empathy and respect. When you look inside a jewelry box, will you think about how you can untangle the strand of your personal overwhelm 
to embrace grace with self-love and acceptance. Now, you have a choice to live with joy, purpose, and passion, to overcome the overwhelm and untangle the strands of your professional life, family life, and personal life. Which strand will you untangle first? Thank you.